Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie, and make sure to click that subscribe button and stick around. Today I am back with another college week in my life. I know that I said that I was gonna go back to my Sunday to Saturday schedule, but this week is an exception because I am headed to New York City on Thursday for my second New York Fashion Week. I am so excited, I'll be there Thursday to Monday. So, uh, you know, just attending different shows, going to different events, meeting up with other influencers, shooting content, the whole nine yards. I am so pumped. So this week I'm actually going to split up into two different vlogs because I want to keep the New York City content separate. But, you know, still figured I would vlog the first few days of the week. So it is actually currently 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I woke up around 9 and I got my blog post up today sharing my weekly wrap up, which is a week in my life plus outfits of the week. It's where I link all of my outfits as well. Then I got up my college week in my life, my first one, to YouTube. And then I went over to Instagram and I posted a sponsor photo for Lulu's and I posted all of my outfit of the days from the week to my Instagram stories I always do that every single Sunday with direct links to swipe up so if you see anything throughout these videos that you really want to shop maybe you really like what I'm wearing that is where you can find links and so yeah I just put on a little bit of makeup just a little bit of CC cream and got dressed for the day here is what I am wearing um, figured something comfy casual. I'm actually gonna head on to campus to get some of my work done just because I want to get outside I'm kind of bored of sitting in my bedroom um, So we're gonna do that might go for a walk later And then we are having one of a couple of our girlfriends over tonight Just do a little craft make dinner watch a movie have a little girls night casual night in so my dress is from Halara activewear They have the best stuff these like have shorts built on underneath I really like this dress. I have it in black too and then my sneakers are just white New Balances Hoodie over top is from Shein because Liv said it's a little cold outside. And that's it. So first I'm going to heat up a little bit of leftovers for lunch. We made pasta last night for dinner with this like chicken, feta, spinach, sausage. And we're having pasta tonight too. Um, but I'm just too lazy to make anything else. So. Alright, walking over to campus. It's like a half a mile walk, so not bad. All right, I just made my way down to the Kiva and I've got my computer out. I like sitting over here because they have a bunch of tables that have umbrellas so I can actually see my computer while getting some fresh air. Um, I've already done a good chunk of my to-do list this morning but I do have two hauls that I need to edit and a couple of assignments that I just need to finish up and submit and then I do need to get working on sending some last minute um, New York Fashion Week emails. So I'm just gonna sit out here. It's relatively quiet on campus today, like no one's here, so hey. Right, guys I just sat on campus and edited for about two hours and my airpods died and my computer's on 5% and I don't have a mask and all of the buildings are locked so I have no way of charging my computer or my airpods so I'm just gonna walk over to the manch right now because it's closer than my house and I'm just gonna go sit in the study room and get the rest of my work done I also just met two of the cutest subscribers ever I know one of them's name was Emma. I can't remember the name of the other one, but they were so nice. And I literally sat and talked with them for like 30 minutes about the fashion program and just like life in general. So if it was you guys, thank you for saying hi and comment down below so I can message you guys on Instagram. But anyways, all right, let's walk to the man. Seriously, one of my favorite things about the Alpha Phi house is the balcony up here. It's so nice, especially when it's nice out. It's been like 75 and sunny every single day recently, which is fantastic um, so I've just been sitting up here in a cute little rocking chair I just finished editing both of those videos exported them and made a thumbnail so these videos will be out by the time you guys are seeing this if you want to check them out go be sure to do so but it's actually 4 30 right now and I promised um, Griffith one of my good friends that we could go for a walk together so she lives here actually again this year so I'm just gonna walk up to her room and grab her um, also, I know I'll get questions. You are allowed to come to the house as much as you want. Um, even if you don't live here. I lived here last year, but I still like to come. Study room. My littles live here, so I see them. And you can peg in for dinner every now and then. This is my first time in Griffith's apartment. Hello. No Mackenzie living here this year, but guess what she made? Griffith's famous brownies. Retweet if you remember when Griffith gave us the recipe rundown. I'll try to find the video. I'll leave it linked down below. But their their apartment's so cute. So, me on my way to the gym, 
Yeah. Also on my way with the brownie. On her way with the brownie. Griffith, can I show them your room? Yes. Here's Griffith's bedroom. She kept the same theme as she did last year. And she lives alone. Well, she lives alone in this bedroom, and then two other girls live um, in the other bedroom. So she pushed the beds together, but the other girls, this is how you typically have a man's room set up. Anyways, can't wait to eat my brownie. My first brownie of Griffiths of the year. And you know that she's going to save me the corner piece. Do you get the Celsius ones too? Your which one's your favorite? I like, oh, I just love boy. them the most ones. <gasps> Alani knew energy drinks were under 21, but so good. Griffith and I are by Tannery Park right now. It's like right by campus. If yeah. you're like, it's probably not somewhere you would go if you don't have a car on campus. Mm -hmm. But if you do, it's a really pretty walk. A lot of people come here that are like townies to walk their dogs. You see people here like little hiking first date moment. It's really nice because it's paved the whole way and it goes pretty far actually. But it's right along the water. So it's really, really pretty. Anyways. We're just gonna walk like a mile and a half, two miles. Nothing crazy. Goodbye, lip check. Mm. Tell them what you made. <laughs> it's tortellini, and then it's asparagus and tomatoes and mozzarella. And grilled chicken. And, and with well, pesto. Yeah. yeah, with pesto. And I also made us some potatoes. And Lizzie's here right now, but. I was emotional support. She That's was fine. emotional support, yeah. but we've got it all coming together over here. Just another day of pasta here. No worries. It's a few hours later, and I've just been sitting, scrolling, chatting with the roommates about all kinds of stuff, and I started to have like a moment of panic, so I decided that a planner session would probably solve a lot of that, so I just sat down and wrote out a big content day for tomorrow. Tuesday, I am going to do all of my schoolwork literally for the entire week up from Tuesday to next Monday because I get home on Monday. Wednesday, I've got a busy day of packing. I do have dinner plans with a friend, and I also need to shoot some David's bridal dresses um, with Lauren. She's going to help me at some point um, this t day. I'm not exactly sure what time yet. Thursday, I've obviously got my flight, and then I actually don't have like any of my show schedules written out yet. I'm waiting on a few follow-up emails and a few final confirmations, and then I'll get all of that squared away. This is actually a pretty busy week for... Uh, my sorority but I'm missing like pretty much everything too so I've got some things that I kind of just need to some loose ends I got to tie up to make sure that everything is good to go I, it's like 11 o'clock now I don't know if I said that I also showered and I get, like get in these random moods where I like frantically need to clean my whole life and so I literally just got my hands and knees and scrubbed my tub and my toilet and um, my kitchen I mean my bathroom sink so anyways um, what I'm gonna do now is actually sit down and journal I typically go to the baseball field on Sundays and will sit down and journal there but I just didn't have time to get to it um, I typically do this once a week in college. Sometimes every other, it kind of just depends. I've kept a journal since I was in um, third grade. Like I've always kept a journal. Writing is my creative outlet. It's why I started my blog. It's what makes me feel good, therapeutic for me. And the, actually the last time that I've written is the day that I moved out of college. Like I have not written once the entire summer, partly because I, like ran out of journal space and the other part just because I was so busy um, I find that I cling to it in times of really high highs and really low lows but um, today I just want to write just because I feel guilty that I haven't and I feel like so much is happening with school that first I need to sit down and kind of just brain dump about my summer and just let everyone I don't know like you know I there's so much that I'm I capture through journaling that I would have forgotten otherwise that I want to just sit with my thoughts. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Um, I just want to sit with my thoughts tonight. So I'm going to do that. Everybody, it's 9.30 on Monday morning. Happy Labor Day. I have got quite the list of things well, to do today. Starting off with my laundry. I desperately need to do it. I'm about to go put it on and I am going to make some breakfast as well. And then other tasks today include getting a blog post up, getting some sponsored content for Ugg Publish. I need to submit those two assignments that I didn't end up submitting yesterday. 
I need to film a sheet and try on haul, and then I need to take 10 mirror style outfits. That's gonna be Wednesday's blog post. Um, I'm gonna do 10 pairs of express jeans that I'm really loving because they're all on sale right now. So we're gonna do all that today. Most people are like going out, darting, um, like doing fun things today, but I just really need to grind it out before my trip. So we're gonna have a productive day. I might go to the Indians game tonight with my littles. I really hope we make that happen, but in the meantime, let's go put my laundry on and make some breakfast. Also, this is like every week I feel like I pick out like a little lounge duo that I wear for a couple hours every day and I just like keep wearing it. Um, this top is from Shein and then these joggers have like little smiley faces on them. They are from Boohoo and I love them. I will leave both of these linked down below for you guys. Um, but anyways, okay, I have laundry everywhere. Let's go put it on. bacon eggs and we're gonna eat last night's like leftover potatoes um, I like to cook them in baking grease for a little bit and they get really really good so I'm making breakfast for everyone today so I did six pieces of bacon two pieces each um, and then usually I do about five eggs when there's three people I feel like six eggs is kind of a lot I don't know here's breakfast now it's time to put it all together. I just got ready for the day. I decided to go for a straight hair, put some lashes on because I've got a busy day of content creation and I've got my Shein box out. I am just divvying up. So I've got dresses in one pile, tops in another pile, and then I've got bottoms over here. And the way that I like to film the hauls is do like all the same type of stuff in a row. So I'm starting off in pants. I have like these joggers on from them. And then in the box, I've got a couple of pairs of shoes as well. My tripod is set up. I am about to put on some music and we're just gonna film the try-on portion first then go right into the sit-down Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click that subscribe button and stick around. I post Shein hauls every couple of weeks. Alright, just got done just sat down and finished up an assignment for my product development class talking all about express jeans and doing a little bit of research on them some statistical information and consumer behavior within purchasing denim and then I placed an order for some new express pieces I have a collaboration coming up with them and they were doing 40% off everything today so I ordered two long sleeve body contour bodysuits since I love that line so much I got this top in blue 
black last month and I loved it so I grabbed it in white and then I also grabbed two new pairs of cropped flare jeans I got a dark wash pair and then a black pair as well and then I also finished up an assignment for my professional seminar class we were working on our resume so I just went in and edited mine and added a little bit to it took some away depending on what she was looking for essentially this resume is going to be what kind of preps me to start applying for internships for next summer it is mandatory to fulfill an internship credit over the summer before your senior year if you are a fashion merchandising student at Kent I am hoping to intern either for a fashion publication or somewhere in Los Angeles who knows we will see obviously um, there's no guarantees but I just checked off all that stuff. It's 2.20 right now. I think I'm gonna eat something. Like, I don't know, I just, I'm a little hungry. And then we're gonna start taking here. Some leftover pesto pasta from last night with chicken and mozzarella. I have been getting lots of questions about all my favorite jeans for the fall now that we're obviously transitioning out of shorts. So my plan is to get up a blog post on Wednesday featuring express denim. So I just shot photos, just mirror style in some of my favorite pairs of jeans for them and then some new ones because I did just pick up six new pairs because um, I was in desperate need of a stock up. So if you want to see how I'm styling all of these pieces, just head over to stylewomenkens.com. They will, this blog post will be live by the time you guys are watching this. So lots of fun things. I'll give you guys the quick little rundown on my phone. I tried to do like some transition looks and then some that were like already pretty folly because I know that the temperature is obviously varying depending where you are. Um, and then I did some like different fanciness I guess. So we've got like a flannel and jeans. I did like a little leather moment. I did a little date night moment. Um, something cute and casual for class. Jeans and a sweater, you can't go wrong with that. Little like fall festivity. I've got business casual. Um, another little date night outfit. And then I ended off in what I'm wearing right now, which is just like cute little hat, mules, and top. So very, very fun. Um, actually made good time. It's 3.45, took me about 45 minutes to do that. And now I need to pick out an outfit for tonight. We're going to the Indians game, like I said. And we are going to leave around like 5.15, 5.30. I want to get dressed now because, let's be real, I probably won't get a blog post up today. I'm like trying so hard to get back on my schedule, but clearly not hard enough. But anyways, um, I want to pick out an outfit first. That way I can just be ready to go. Um, Lauren is not coming with us because she's at home right now. But um, she left me this little Indians like penny. So I think I'm going to wear jeans because it's kind of chilly out. Like not super cold, but like definitely definitely jeans weather so I'm gonna try to pick out an outfit come back when I'm dressed okay after several failed attempts at getting dressed this is what I have settled on I'm not sure it's my favorite but I just cannot be bothered to put anything else on so um, the top underneath is the top I've been wearing all day it's from Shein and I'm just wearing it because this is like too short to wear without anything underneath this Lauren thrifted um, I believe it was a little boys like penny I don't know okay these jeans are from Fashion Nova shoelace bell and I've got on Converse I really thought the other sneakers looked better but literally everyone commented and said that I should wear Converse instead so wearing that and then my hoops are from she go so go so so go go so so go so so go <laughs> why do you look like a supermodel with your new hair thank you oh, I wow know, I don't want to wear a visor look at my you look so on. cute <laughs> I there love it. Go. Anytime Mackenzie successfully drives anyone anywhere, it deserves to be documented. Yes. New places like this. Um, I've only been to Cleveland twice, once to the airport, so it doesn't even really count. But um, first Indians game, so so. Here's her outfit standing. <laughs> oh, wait. Here's her outfit standing. Lizzie's here too. She was at our house last night. Um, you guys saw her during dinner time, but. Here we go, just had to pay $20 for parking, ew. 75 years of sales and service. Well, no, I'm going to get a hot dog. Cracker Jack. And then we can put a pretzel. No okay. Cracker Jack here. Couldn't make it back to my seat. I'm just going to sell Cracker Jack. Mmm, they have the, when we bought nosebleeds, I knew that they were nosebleeds, but not quite like this. <laughs> Um, I just bought chicken tenders and fries because I have no self-control and I'm a hungry girl. Life's all about balance. 
Um, Olivia is on her way over, and so is Lizzie. Yeah. Anyways, we finally sat down. It's top of third now, but look at how far away that is. Oh well. start off with 10 squats. Seven, Apparently it's like eight, psychologically, scientifically nine, backed that it's like a good way to nine. start your learning experience. Yay, so thank you. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um, we actually have a special presenter today, so gonna head to class, listen, I'll catch up with you guys after to show my outfit. Best part about online class is being able to make breakfast while you are learning. Um, I just made two scrambled eggs, two pieces of bacon, piece of toast, and we are hearing all about resumes right now. I already submitted mine, but still a good little refresher. All right, friends, just got out of professional seminar. I've got my backpack on because I have to go walk over to the fashion school because I do have planning and buying in person today. I typically have two in-person classes on Tuesday, but because yesterday was Labor Day, my like later class got canceled, so. Just one class, but here's what I'm wearing today. My little vintage tee is from Romwe, and so are these jeans. Got on the same shoelace from yesterday because these pants are super big. And then I've just got on white platform Converse. Backpacks on. <laughs> Liv, Liv does not have class in person today. She usually walks with me. Well, she did the one day that we had class, but she doesn't have today, so I have to walk by myself. So if you see me, honk. <laughs> Made it to Rockwell, also known as the Fashion School. Time to go to class. All right, class got out a few minutes early. Time to walk home. So today I am attempting to get a whole week's worth of classwork done in one day. I just got home from planning and buying and I sat down and tried to get all of the work done at once. So we are, this is like an Excel based class and I remember watching Danielle Carolyn's videos. This was one of like the final courses that she took and she was always complaining about it and saying how hard it was. And my brain just like doesn't work like this. Like I can physically feel the wheels in my head turning, trying to comprehend this stuff. So I did the like entire activity Thing that she assigned us in class and then I had to read a chapter and take a quiz on that in this like she has like a separate system so if you take this class it's kind of annoying because you pay $70 to have this I got one question wrong on this and then I took the like quiz itself in blackboard so two different quizzes this week I got a 16 out of 20 which usually I would be like really upset about um, but, you know, a 16 out of 20, I actually felt kind of good about in this class because it's not my forte so far. So now that it is two o'clock, I've got the rest of my classes to tackle. I'm gonna start off with the journal entries from my professional seminar class. We had two journal entries this week and to submit the resume, I already submitted the resume, so I'm gonna do the journal entries now before eating something for lunch because I'm starving. So each week for a professional seminar, we have to write two journal entries. It can be literally about anything. So this week I wrote about how we're trying to make the most of senior year and start adding things to our bucket list. And yesterday we checked off one of them, which was going to the Indians game. And then I also talked about prepping for New York Fashion Week, how I'm feeling as I reflect on my last one and how much growth and change has really happened. Um, really special to look back on, but.
Okay, for fashion forecasting today, we had a super long PowerPoint. It took me about an hour to take notes on marketing and sales research, all the different strategies and stages of researching and how companies are essentially forming trends and deciding what is going to be in style. So they talk about looking at what was in style previously, what items sold, what items didn't sell, um, and all those other different kinds of variables. And then I took a book quiz based off of this chapter. Each week we have to read a chapter. I just took the quiz. I got an A on that, which is awesome. So now I just have to go in and work on this week's assignment. Okay, it's taken me forever to get through the next portion of my forecasting work. I did a discussion board assignment and then I started on like the actual assignment. It's really due on Monday, but since I'm not gonna be here, I figured that I would go ahead and get a head start on it because like I said, I will be gone this weekend. So basically in forecasting, you spend the entire semester putting together a 25 page forecasting report on a brand. So I chose Lulu's and throughout it, you're gonna talk about the different customers, you're gonna create a line plan, you're gonna do inventory math. Essentially like this is what you would present to someone. And this is like one of the key components of your portfolio. So this piece is super important. I chose Lulu's because if I were to work retail um, post-grad, like for a corporate company and not go the magazine route, Lulu's is a company that I would be really interested in doing so. So here is what I have done. Okay, we had to do three slides. So it's gonna be 25 slides by the end of the semester and each week we have to work on some of them. So I had to share the history and some of like what Lulu's has been in the news for recently. Then we had to share a customer profile, basically talking about the typical Lulu's shopper. Are they single? Are they spending a lot of money? Whatever. And then I actually used one of my photos in a Lulu's dress from last week on this. And then we had to talk about the signature look and aesthetic and we had to create one of these, why can't I think of the word right now? kind of like product briefs so that you guys can see what kind of clothes they offer and stuff like that. So I did that and then I have like a little source page as of right now that will end up turning into something pretty like lengthy and big and important towards the end of this class. But for now we're just throwing the links in. I can't even tell you how long that took me, like hours. And I know it doesn't look that crazy, but it's so much work to set it up. And then we had to research to find that kind of information and all that stuff. So, oh well, it is six o'clock now. And I think I'm going to take some time to eat because um, I still have quite a bit of homework, but I feel a little brain dead, I'm not gonna lie. So first let's run over to the mansion, get my mail. I know I have a couple of packages delivered and I just wanna kinda take care of that. I got so many cute things. I got a few things for fashion week, a lot of denim because this is gonna be like a denim focused haul. And then a couple of like really crazy out there pieces. I really needed a new pair of white heels, so I ordered a pair from there as well. And then I also just placed like my own order, I know, shocking, um, for a new charger. I always use the Anchor ones. My other one just broke, like they randomly break every two to three years or whatever. So I ordered a new one before I left. Okay, I just made dinner, but I'm literally just eating at my desk because I just have so much to do that. I can't even be bothered to sit out there. Um, super quick dinner tonight. I just made a shrimp quesadilla. Literally just cheese shrimp with chili powder and cumin on it, nothing crazy. Um, because we're like out of groceries, but I didn't want to go grocery shopping because like I'm only here another day. Oh well. Getting so frustrated, like I literally, oh, I'm just like, kind of having like a day. And my professor for computer apps, the God bless his heart, sweetest man, but like there's every single like assignment opening module anything like there's something broken or not attached or missing and it's like i literally only have today to get schoolwork done of course it's not working and it's already 7 15 and i just i'm giving up on this for the night like i'm hoping that he can fix it by tomorrow um but in the meantime i just really need to crank out a blog post it was supposed to go up yesterday I didn't have time to do it so i have about halfway done and literally i'm just gonna sit and grind this out actually i think i'm gonna sit on the floor like i i like really need uh, i don't know <laughs>
Just grinded guys an hour and a half later and I am done. I got a sponsored Instagram photo up with UGG, a really exciting collaboration for me. And then I went ahead and posted some stuff to my stories. I asked for your New York City recommendations, posted a few sponsored slides with UGG. And then I also just linked my YouTube video. I linked today's blog post and I just did a poll on whether or not I should go to Nashville <laughs> at the end of the month. And then over here, on the blog I finished typing today's blog post of four outfits to wear for class that are super comfy casual featuring those Kulabura slides I don't know why am I there you go there you go now you can see super cute outfits super casual you know the drill I linked everything as per usual and just concluded that feeling good and now it is nine o'clock all right, time for me to take my outfit of the day photo and get out of these jeans. Like, I just am so ready to put on sweatpants. You have no idea. All right, outfit done. Oh, I also didn't, like, show you guys what came from Fashion Nova. Like, I know I talked about it, but I never really showed it. So here we go. I never put you guys up here. Like the setup in my room just doesn't really have good lighting over here, so sorry. Okay, but I got some really cool things. I got tons of denim. I got these really cool green jeans. And when I was in seventh grade, I got a pair of green jeans from Abercrombie Kids and I wore them and I was so cool and trendy because that's when colored denim was in style the first time. So it's especially exciting to wear these. Um, then I got this like little cow print set. I thought that was fantastic. I got this little white two-piece set that would be perfect if i was going to nashville again i wish i got a green blazer set and then i just got tons and tons of jeans because like i said that's going to be the theme of this post so i'll probably try on some of those pieces tomorrow when i am outfit planning but um for now for now that's all the sneak peek that you get take off my shoes my jewelry I really love this jewelry organizer it's not really a jewelry organizer it's like makeup containers from the container store but um it's been really really convenient and a much easier way to store my jewelry this school year so if you want links you have to go to my apartment tour but anyways it's time to shower I need to wash my hair because I have a shoot tomorrow so here we go okay I got out of the shower and I washed my hair and then I put on a face mask and it's just like soaking into my skin. I put on my little like acne patches and now I'm painting. Yes, I'm painting my nails while I'm talking to Sam about our plans for this week because she's who I'm going with. Um, I'm excited, best duo. So we're just chatting while I paint. morning guys happy Wednesday it is 9 30 I woke up at 8 this morning and I got ready I did my hair I cur just curled it today it's been a while since I've curled it I've been wearing it crimped recently um, but I put some makeup on as well put some lashes on because I do have a photo shoot with some homecoming dresses later this afternoon with the help of my roommate Lauren I then took a quiz that one of my sweet professors opened up early for me so that I wouldn't have to deal with it while I was gone got an A on that it was honestly so, like it took me the full time to do it um, for product development but I got an A so I'm excited and then I just got dressed really really quick and I am on my way to meet one of my friends Taylor for breakfast we originally had dinner plans but it kind of just worked out better more stress-free for both of us to meet for breakfast so we're going to wild goat I haven't been here since my freshman year so we'll see if it's good gotta go all right we're at wild goat today and I'm with Taylor and okay tell them what you got I got hash browns with eggs uh, I think it's avocado on top and then cheese and bacon on the it looks brown. so good i almost got that but i got the classic breakfast 
juice, which is annoying because this is what I eat every day. But oh. <laughs> for breakfast, I would probably give today an eight out of ten. The sausage was really good, and I got the hash brown patty upon the waiter's recommendation, and I also thought that was very good. Only taken off points because it, it wasn't the most exciting thing in the whole world, and it was really really slow today. But oh well, I'm home now. It's eleven o'clock, and I've got quite the lengthy to do list of things to do today including packing writing a blog post finishing up a couple school assignments and sending out some last minute emails so we are going to get working on all of this right now you are being transferred to reservations if you want to make a room reservation press one if you have an upcoming reservation and would like to reconfirm cancel make changes or ask a question about it press two Okay, just confirmed my hotel and airline info, sent out some final emails, and now I am trying to outfit plan for this photo shoot this afternoon. I'm shooting a bunch of David's Bridal homecoming dresses, so I've got on like a cute little blue sparkly one. This one has pockets, which I really, really like. Um, but I've got a few other styles here. This maroon one I just tried on. I'm about to try on this purple one. And then I've got this gold one too. Say hi. All right, guys, we are going live to pack for New York Fashion Week right now. This is going to be a pretty long pack with me, knowing me. Um, I was doing these literally every week in the summer to help me pack for my different destinations. And today we're gonna be packing for New York City. I've picked out tons of stuff over the last few weeks. So here is my first outfit. I don't need your help on this. Like I know for a fact I'm going to be bringing this. Kind of feel like Big Bird, but in a good way. So here's outfit number one. I will of course take you guys through as I pack. Um, the only thing is that I don't really know if I am going, how, like how I can set this up so that you guys can't see me changing since I'm in like a new room, new setup. So I'm going to do my very best to not flash you, so sorry in advance. Um, okay, the next piece that we're going to style are these boots. I actually, I want to come up with at least two outfits for these, otherwise it's not really worth it for me to bring them with because they're definitely a little bit bigger, they take up a lot of space, so I have a couple of different ideas for them. The first is with this green bubble dress, I've actually already tried this on, so I don't really think that I'm going to be trying it on again just because like I know it looks good. So I'm definitely bringing this piece, and then I also thought that it could be, these could be cute with this white dress and this green bag so I'm going to try this on and get your guys opinion on it um, so let me change I just brainstormed a whole lot of outfits on live my room is like a literal disaster right now thank you if you joined it's always so helpful to hear other people's feedback on it um, I'm not really sure how many outfits this is I'm gonna count it up and then I'm going to be packing in my brand new suitcase I am so excited about this right when I got to Kent like when I moved back here I actually had new luggage delivered from Samsonite and it's beautiful okay they sent over a new full-size check bag and then I also got a carry-on from them and then they also sent over the matching backpack I have to take a sponsored photo tomorrow once I land but I'm very excited the suitcase itself is super nice it's a little bit different in setup from my last one but I'm look at it like it has so many cute little compartments we've got the little snaps and it's about the exact same size so fingers crossed I can fit this all Alexa play my favorite songs Okay, I don't know if this is overweight or not yet. 
Um, it's pretty heavy, but I don't think that it's 50 pounds. I, if I had to guess, I would guess that it is 44, maybe 45 pounds, but Cart is going to come over with the scale later and when they get done with baseball, like later this tonight, and I'm going to weigh this, but I did pack everything up and literally everything fit. This suitcase, I've realized, is a little bit deeper than my last one, but it's about the same length, so in width which is really nice so I was able to fit a lot in here I have a couple of purses like three little bags like this that I want to fit in here but they are packed up in my hunter duffel for this afternoon's photo shoot so I'm gonna have to come back to that later and add a few last minute things I also don't have my makeup in here I might end up putting my makeup in my carry-on I'm not bringing like a carry-on suitcase I'm just literally bringing my long champ but I don't know. We shall see. I'm not super worried about it. I've got tomorrow's outfit laid out and I'm feeling good about this. Feeling good. I'm in my pajama shirt right now just because I needed to put something casual on. I've got about 30 minutes until Lauren gets out of class and when she gets out of class, I'm literally going to go pick her up and we're going to walk right over to a building and shoot these four homecoming dresses because I do need to knock this out for work today as well, but I'm feeling really good. Like I'm in a very good place. I wasn't expecting to get as much done as I have already today so that's good I do need to text Logan my little just to make sure we're all good to go for tomorrow morning um but other than that whew, sigh of relief four dresses in 30 minutes check <laughs> I literally picked Lauren up from class and we just shot so quickly right outside of what is the name I never can remember the name of this Car no yeah, no, Cartwright's right next to us. It's whatever's right next to it, but I will insert a photo here so that you can see what we just shot. I just finished off in the blue sparkly. I actually like this one. Six like Cinderella vibes. I love, I love fairies. Cinderella Anyways, vibes. all right, success. Let's go home. Okay, I just got the last of my schoolwork done for the week. This was for computer apps. It was the assignment that... I was like struggling with yesterday because he hadn't put the video up, but no worries. I figured it out today. We basically are just using a bunch of different equations to kind of learn different things about the program software. We're talking about different interests and deposit numbers, all kinds of like random stuff that honestly is just confusing, but oh well, feeling good about that. Cuts by check. Today we're making Greek chicken bowls. We've got pitas. Oh wait, we have pitas, so we really didn't need to I didn't realize we had pitas, so we really it's didn't okay. need to It's okay, guys. Okay, so we've got feta, we've got tzatziki. Over here, Olivia has got all the goods. Cucumbers, tomatoes, and lettuce. And Krista chicken is chicken. whipping up the chicken. And then we also like are doing some noodles and then kind of making friends. I don't know, guys. I don't, you know. You know the vibes. Yum yum. Card, let me borrow the scale and my um, <laughs> luggage was 46 pounds. So I have four pounds to spare hanging out in Olivia's bed. I just want to say good night. I just wanted to them to tell you how much they're gonna miss goodnight. you over the next five days. This is actually the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the new old fashion week vlog. Subscribe to Style by Style by Chick! Style by Chick! Bye! <laughs>